Welcome back to the channel. It's your host Argento bringing you a horror story from my job. I know it's not a gaming video today, but I hope you enjoy our little story time together. And I hope by the end of this story, you'll want to hear more stories from your favorite host, Sargento. Getting into this video, a few days ago, I was working at the pizza shop that employs me and it was about nine o'clock when the place got an order to go to the edge of town to deliver two pizzas and two pasta dishes. So me being the wide eye recruit, my second day working on the job, the other pizza delivery people didn't want to go because the store was closing and it's it was raining very hard and everyone was tired of getting in and out of their cars for poor tips. So they give me the, the food and they send me on my merry way. Little did they know, little did I know that this delivery was going to be to hell. So I'm driving 10, 15 minutes to the edge of town in the pouring rain, thunder, lightning, you know, the typical story, horror story background. So I make a right onto this road and there's two ways that I can go. I can either go straight to the neighboring t town, which is about another 10 minutes through dense forest, or I can make a left into this hidden driveway that goes to God knows what. The hidden driveway was so dense and just surrounded by forest that I couldn't see in front of me. It was pouring so hard that I couldn't see in front of me. And the GPS told me, make a left. And I was like, oh no, of course, of course it had to be this this way so I make a left and I'm going about five miles an hour through this hidden driveway and I get to I get to about like 20 feet into this hidden driveway and I see a big sign this homemade wooden sign that says trespassers beware and I thought to myself wow this is the night that I get sent to the gulag so with that in mind I continue to go through this hidden driveway and the more I got into this the darker it seemed to get and all I heard was the pounding of rain on my car and the occasional thunder so once I once I get to the end of this hidden driveway there's two ways that I can go one way that was blocked off by a fence which in the distance I put my high beams on and I saw the outline of what I believe to be a barn because it was in the middle of a field of just nothing and a little dirt driveway that led to a path all the way up to this huge old house. So. Pulled in the driveway 
and as soon as I shut my car off, I hear a, cr a huge crash in the woods. And at this time, I wasn't thinking, oh, it was a branch that fell. It was, oh, this Bigfoot. This is Bigfoot country. And I was already just, oh, no. Like, God is telling me that this is not the place to be and that I should just leave. But, me being the young entrepreneur, I had to deliver this pizza to get some tips. So, I call the house. And as soon as I dialed the phone number, it tells me that the phone has been disconnected. And immediately, my heart sank. Because this house had no lights on. It only had this little, like, lantern that, the, that was on the porch. And at this time, I was like, there is no way that I'm going up there when the phone's disconnected they're either getting murdered by some crazy psycho or I'm gonna go over there and get murdered so it was getting pretty late I needed to go back so I just grabbed the food and I and I just practically run up this this trail to the house when I get to the house knock on the door nothing all I heard was rain and then in the corner of my eye I saw a shadow from the little side window by the door and I was like no way there's no way like my mind's just playing tricks on me right now there's no way that this this is real so I thought to myself just leave the pizza here and go it's not worth it it's not worth being murdered so as soon as I turn I hear the door creak open and this old lady opens the door and she asked me if I'm the delivery boy and I said yes ma'am here's your food and she says oh wonderful the power has been out most of the night because of the storm and I was like oh great and then she screams for her husband she's like the pizza's here and I was like, oh, all right, good. So I give her the pizzas. I give her the food. She gives me a $10 tip. And when she shuts the door, I run to my car. And I turn it on. And I zoom out of there. And I speed all the way back to the pizza shop. And that's the end of my story. The night where I almost was murdered. I hope you enjoyed this story. Make sure you leave a, a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, it's your homie Sarge. Peace.